day two. I got a two-day permit for it. Took it to the car wash and just gave it a quick blast. See what it looks like. Zoom out a bit. Yeah, it looks nice from far. Uh, yeah, I just gave it a bit of a vacuum, but it really, really needs a steam clean really bad. The console needs a good clean. It's terrible. I don't have stuff, but the seats, they're not really torn. There's no tears. They're just dirty. Uh, can't see any rust in the doors or anything. Surprising, it's pretty rust free. Okay, except for the two holes. Yeah, the back needs a clean, really good clean. Headlining, yeah, it's pretty good. Sunroof has been sealed shut, I think. So, just leave it at that. Uh, yeah, apart from the two holes there, the rest is pretty good. And a bit of rust at the back here. A better look. Needs a good clean. Probably would have been really cool in its day, I imagine. Very luxurious look of the 80s. Give it a clean vacuum. Just a vacuum, really. Most of the lights work. I figured out the uh, headlight switch is over here. The wipers are on the other side. The lights work, headlights work, wipers work. Heater works. That's about all I could figure. Uh, what else? It's probably worth putting back on the road, actually. It's not that bad. Just, as long as I don't have to sit in it, that's fine. So, i got to go pump the tires up next. That window doesn't want to go back up, so that's going to be a pain. I do need to uh, pump the tires up. It's definitely a bit low. And uh, it's quite a firm ride, so I suspect the whatever suspension stuff there is in it, it's either not working or stuck or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's definitely low and firm. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. Washed up, not too bad. Very little rust for something from 1985. Compare our XD Falcon from 1985. <laughs> yeah, it'll be quite a different story. Yeah? So, yeah, I'm gonna go pop up the tires and uh, cruise around a bit. Wish I knew how to turn the radio on though. Well, this is an inside shot. Uh, I've given it a wash and uh, pumped the tires up. They're around 18 to 20 pounds. I now got 36. Uh, yeah, I still need to clean that console. But uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. This sort of little sunroof thing over here. Open that up. Uh, yeah, the inside uh, still pretty bad. Needs a needs a really good steam clean. Yeah, the back's pretty cool. The best part is it actually runs very well. Gears change one, two, three automatically. I don't even know they're changing. I put it, I drive it in manual to see if it is changing gear, and it is actually changing gears. But in auto, it's kind of smooth that I can't tell. But it's a slug in auto it's better it likes to be driven first second third just to keep up with the traffic um all right i'll start her up and you can have a look just purrs fans on a bit i kept it on defrost a bit so the fan works it's up there the heater works i can put it to high uh, now there you are. the wipers work on, off, intermittent, back on, figured it all figured all this out. The lights are over here. That's it this way, that's it. Lights on. Seems to cycle through there. Park, yeah, so that must be off. Then parkers and then main lights. So let's go have a look outside. I can't get the bloody seat belt off, jeez. Well, I really should edit that out, but I can't be bothered. So let's go have a look. I got the lights on. It's running. Oh, 
all the lights are on parkers main I'm not sure what you'd actually see with those lights they're pretty dim but they are they are on yeah brake lights are sort of on here yeah. the engine's good the engine's very nice amazing for something that's done so many k's Blinkers. Good. I've been driving it around for about the last 40 minutes. Uh, engine temperature is perfect, utter stable. No head blown gaskets. Uh, needs a wheel alignment. Uh, let me try and get in. Uh, there we are. Now check this out. I'll put it in gear. In idle. Oh, hang on, turn that off. Neutral. Drive. Neutral. Reverse. Yeah, a bit clunky in reverse. But it does move. It does move. That's the main thing. So cool. Never get a speeding ticket in it unless you're at downwind on a downhill slope. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it is pretty cool. Shouldn't really be driving with one hand on the wheel and one hand holding the camera, but... Uh, oh, this is cool. I like this. The temperature gauge. You can see it goes up. To red, and then it comes back down. Oh, i got to put the fan on, I think. Yeah, it, it does actually go up and down. Well, that's about it. Temperature gauge is spot on. The temperature gauge has not moved from the for the last hour that I, 40 minutes I've been driving. It sits there where, where it is. The voltage sits there. The tackle works. The speeder works. Oh, I got it up to about 70, 80 on the side roads here and. Uh, not a warning, but uh, it needs a wheel alignment. Three tires, four tires are really good. Two look like new. The back rear left is bad. It's a bit worn out. It's probably why it's not handling very well. But uh, yeah, that's it. All right, well, I shall take it back and uh, put it away. Had my fun for the day. Oh, come on, just. You can overtake me, and I'm not going anywhere. All right, time to go tuck it away.